Dr. Moore, why do you think uh, golden rice is going to work in India? We know golden rice will work everywhere. There are children who are going blind and dying from vitamin A deficiency because golden rice has beta carotene, which is what we make vitamin A with. Already adult nutritional trials have been done in the United States and child trials have been done in China. This proves that golden rice delivers vitamin A to the people. So we have the proof of that already. And all we need to do now is to have golden rice approved for commercial farming. The farmer will get the golden rice for free, the golden part. They have to pay for the seed, of course. But the golden rice is a humanitarian project because so many children need it and pregnant mothers who are dying from the lack of vitamin A all around the tropical countries. So how successful are the tests so far? The field trials for golden rice are being done in the Philippines at the International Rice Research Institute in Bangladesh and in Indonesia, each of which has their own national rice research institutes. And of course, it's very promising right now because India and Bangladesh in particular have taken leadership roles on biotechnology and will move forward with this important new invention. It is one of the most important advances in the whole history of agriculture to be able to give traits like vitamin A to rice, which doesn't have it in nature. So we, we can do many good things for consumers and for farmers with this new biotechnology. You say farmers, uh, we know that uh, India is a water-stressed country and we know that rice takes a lot of water. Uh, will this help in any way? Uh, no, golden rice will be exactly the same as normal rice in terms of its growing characteristics, just that it has beta carotene in the grain. In fact, they are putting the trait for golden rice into the traditional rice which is being grown in each region. So in Philippines, the golden rice will be put into the local variety, as it will be in Indonesia, Bangladesh, and India, and each country, because there are, there are over 200,000 varieties of rice in the world, and uh, not each one needs to have the gold put in, but for each region of, of, of the country. But output levels will not increase, is what you're saying? It's not going to be a higher yield of rice, because it will be in the same varieties which are already being used. But it is being put into the best varieties, into the highest yield varieties, so the farmer will want to have it. If you make a golden rice which does not have high yield, then the farmer won't want it. And we want it to go through the farmer to the people. It has to go that way, of course. Uh, your opponents, uh, like Greenpeace, for instance, say that you're, you're just a lobbyist for, you know, for uh, industry, which is trying genetic, genetically modified industry, nuclear energy. You're just a lobbyist and a paid lobbyist at that. What do you have to say? Actually, I'm paid by no one to do this golden rice campaign. Every single person in this campaign is a volunteer. We fly economy, we stay in three star hotels, and we eat in regular restaurants. We spend very little money as we can because it's not easy to raise money for such a campaign as this. And we have been successful in having philanthropy people in Washington, D.C., in Canada, to give us donations in order to do a humanitarian project. So Greenpeace is wrong when they say, I am lobbying. I'm not lobbying anybody. I'm only trying to get good information to people about golden rice, which can help to save 2 million children from dying each year.